game night. Kind of. What? Kind, yeah, it's, it was React Video Day. I'm honestly yeah. so mad still about that one, but they'll have to find out. I just, I'm so pissed. To, to hear John's extended rants. <laughs> yeah, he just couldn't help himself. No, he, no. He, I was, he just couldn't let it go. I, I was, you full tilted me with that dude. Anyway, yeah. you can just give, watch. <laughs> So we were talking on Discord. Everybody should join Discord, by the way. It's uh, we have some really interesting conversations there. It's a lot of fun. Join us, like, and subscribe. We're actually live streaming this episode as we're recording it. Yes. Uh, if anybody's still watching, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> but the stream is still running. Um, so we were talking. We've had a handful of times in the past done like reaction videos, and we thought that would be fun. So I jumped on my little TikTok oh, and TikToked. Conspiracy videos oh, for John and Peter to look at. <laughs> of all the choices. <laughs> Quick question before we start, Mike. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I know you're obsessed with TikTok, which is just so bizarre as an ancient ironic, old actually. human being that you are. Um, what, have you actually made any TikToks yourself? Have you done any of your dances? No. Do, you, do you sit at home just no. like repeating the, the I moves? To, no, the, I, I bet you do. I bet you've got a secret he TikTok. Does. He does. Yeah. 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 For sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Macarena oh, is the yeah. only dance I know. Is that is that? Oh, am I doing it right? <laughs> he breaks it out seven times in a row at a, at a wedding. All right. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, All right. Uh, okay. I forget what this one was about. Let's see. Hey, look at their Jesus. rockets. This is oh, I oh in yeah, yeah. Space is these rockets. Their rockets never go straight up. Every single rocket launch from a government space agency, you'll notice, follows a parabolic curve. It goes up. It reaches a peak, but what they do is as the rocket starts coming back down, they make sure that it goes down over the ocean, out of the way of any mm. curious observers. Anyone can see it coming back down to Earth asks, hey, how come the rocket's not going up anymore? Yeah, why isn't uh -huh. the rocket going up anymore? Did you ever notice yeah. that, Peter? Anybody who's ever seen a ro oh. rocket launch has seen this. Oh my god, where did they I get think these this guy's people from? Well, it's I think going it's around something. the curvature anyway. of the Earth, is what they tell us. So every what they say. Rocket, the reason that it follows a parabolic curve, they say, is because it's going around the curvature of the Earth. The, the real reason they is say. they can't higher than that. Are, are these flat Earthers, basically? He's no. got a no, picture no, 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 of no, 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 no. That's a reenactment of the actual launch. No, Peter, this is like uh, space deniers, like God is up there, basically. Like, we can't go up there. Strictly so no rocket, to hide God. No God. No person can like make it to space. Tell us that the Earth is a sphere. They show us pictures. They of tell a sphere, us that the Earth is a sphere. It's a so there's circle. definitely a flat and they Earth element. They say, "Well, it's actually an oblate spheroid." Oh, what's that? Which is true. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's a sphere that's flattened. Th this is not a simulation of the actual shape of the they Earth. They're both holes, so it's more of an oval shape. It actually bulges <laughs> as out as you would have you believe, as well as being flattened at the poles. Like he's so it's more pear shaped. So it's not actually. He's saying the words and showing the animation. Totally, totally misleading. I'm, I'm, so, it's an, it's I'm so confused. I'm so confused. There are yeah. so many different conspiracies going on here, right? <laughs> there's, there's the hiding God thing. Yeah, there's yeah. NASA's fake. It's only ha only found it to hide God. There's, there's the Earth no is travel. flat. No space no travel. Space the travel. Earth is flat. And then yeah. he's repeating all this science. As if, mm -hmm. like, with a sort of sarcastic atti accent, right. uh, attitude, like, yeah, they say it's an old <laughs> They story. say, they claim. <laughs> like, like, claim, like, yeah, they do, because it is. It officially is an old blade spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubbier's a good way. It's like pear shaped. So now it's pear shaped. So why are all of these official uh, NASA photos and videos showing perfect spheres when it's actually an oblate spheroid or a pair that that's a great question that's a great <laughs> why 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 is that why why don't they show like a pair floating in space <laughs> do you know oh my god that i had to waste time researching answers to these questions oh but, but <clears throat> you mean you didn't know them already so is it because it's not uh, a perfect sphere? That is just—it looks spherical, but if you measure it, then it's slightly wider than it is high. Yeah, by 
25 to 50 kilometers. Yeah, yeah okay. That that's what this guy's talking about. They they say that the earth's not perfectly round because in some areas it bulges out 50 kilometers more than the entire normal circumference. Right. Yet he would have you right. believe that we all live on a pair that that we're trying to convince him that we live on a pair floating through space. <laughs> These people are nuts. <clears throat> Air shapes. Uh, yeah. Right. They can't get their story straight. And the reason they can't get their story straight is that to fit the model, they have to change the shape of the Earth. South of the equator is larger than north of the equator because lines of longitude they just extend outwards. They don't contract back. Wait, 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 so, wait, 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 wait. Does he, he's, does he genuinely think that's what the actual <laughs> physical makeup of of Earth is? <laughs> that it's a disc. Does he think that there's like four elephants underneath that are flying through space? But does he? What? No, no. It's just a flat sphere that if you take your boat out far enough, you fall off. Fall off the edge, obviously. <laughs> no, I thought you magically like transported to the other side or something. Is that what? No, no, no. That's, that's why. I, but that's why we that's, only fly. That's why that would we only be fly an, a certain direction. You know, if you magically transport it to the other side. That's called <laughs> that's called a sphere. <laughs> their pair model. They say, well, the side bulges out south of the equator. It's bigger south of the equator. Yeah, it's because it's the pair. Of... <laughs> now, he's, oh. now he's got an actual <laughs> pair. <laughs> and did you hear his justification? Here, listen to what he says here Admitting about this. The bulges out south of the equator. It's bigger south of the equator. Yeah, it is because it's flat. But instead, see, of, obviously it is. That, they just you know make tweaks to their model as time goes on. They say. So they're so they're right that it's bigger south of the equator, but they're wrong for saying that it's pear shaped because in reality, we, obviously, it's just flat. What? What? Where is the <laughs> equator? The is this, I, I don't understand. Where? So the equator is just a ring. I, I don't. I don't get. It's what not you're really saying. an equator. It's it's really just like a flat. It's a. It's a he, ring. He already he already drew this animation once. I'm Do so I have sorry. to go back and? <laughs> 20, no, uh, I can't not watch this again. So, oh, and so the 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 the, uh, the rocket thing. I thought, okay, well, that is kind of interesting. Why do they do that? And it makes perfect sense it's, because if a rocket, yeah. go ahead. No, go on. I think I know. This. I actually think I know. Can I? Can I like try to yeah. guesstimate? Then you yeah. tell me if I'm right. So, because of the atmosphere, right? If we try to break through the atmosphere, it's like. Is it too harsh on the ship or something, right? So we have to like, kind of drift it almost, like skid across it, right? So like, that's it's that's like part a, of it. It's like that's a, a, that... a needle going into your arm yeah. instead of it being jabbed straight in. You have to follow the vein, right? Like, that's part of it. It's like, but also, the... if you launched a, a, a rocket directly away from the Earth and it broke the atmosphere, now what? Now it's traveling away from Earth in space at maximum speed. Their goal is right. not to get away from the Earth as fast as possible. Their goal right. is to get into orbit. So they launch yes, the rocket that's right. in a way that the arc perfectly yep. coincides with the er orbit that they want to take around. Like Too th much math, Mike. Oh, Relax. my God. I, I, saw, I, saw a, I saw a really interesting description <clears throat> of what being in orbit actually is. And what it is is you're constantly falling, falling towards yeah. the horizon. <clears throat> yeah. You're not actually just traveling at the same distance. You, well, I guess you, you actually are as well. But... Um, you are, if you imagine a, uh, the flat level like this, like, and you shot a bullet, it would go down towards the ground. And if you bent the ground, if you bent the ground, then you, and you shot the right speed, it would constantly be falling and falling yeah. and falling. And that's, that's it's like what swinging, a, right. swinging a weight at the end of the rope. The rope is gravity and the weight is the thing that's just. The totally different Spinning analogies around. that I was using, but yeah, we'll go with. We'll go well, with it's, the, you same, got it's the same. It's the gravity pulling it down. That's the falling part. We got four right. more of these. Let's. Yeah, see. obviously. Okay, <laughs> so this one's so this LA one's for me. Get any creepier with all the problems of crime and homeless? I ran into this billboard on this lot. So this is a vacant lot for construction, and it says, "Live life deeper." 144 stories oh my underground. God. You may never. <laughs> Go outside again. Oh so no! Funny. I'm wanting to know if this is, is this real. real? This construction site. <laughs> is this the real TikTok? West Hollywood Beverly yeah. Hills adjacent. This, this is a, a TV show that she's. Twenty-four-seven security, residents only amenities, a new standard of sustainable living. How how reasonable? Ground, live 
life. It's an orange tree. The world's Great, first and only completely subterranean residences. Terrifying. Isn't that cool I feel that like they're it's a horror movie? It's so creepy. <clears throat> I mean, here's the thing. Cool that in her that. defense, in her defense, I actually don't think it's that that crazy. If you haven't, if you're not like somebody who watches telly or not watches Netflix. I and you've never but heard. But you're of, on TikTok, a Google, Google <laughs> yeah, silo. To be fair to who, do you to know what fair, the silo is, right, John? Fair. I just said it's a great show. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I was talking over you, so I'm. I I couldn't hear that. Nothing new there. Get with it. Uh, to be fair to her, I <laughs> do think it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, Maybe. her pro, her pro, because, I looked up her profile, and she says she's listed as a comedian. So I think. I okay. Think she's Ghana, talking, uh, right. uh, so uh, first thing, they are making the line that does seem to actually be real, which is a, a bizarre construction. Oh, here we go. The second thing is um, satire, or is it satire? Is a great game, mm. but let's play that another time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that is a good idea. We should. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that. It's not out. It's not my idea. It's from Gunner TV. <laughs> sure, so. sure. Well, we can still play. Doesn't it. matter. Yeah. yeah, we'll steal it. You, it's our YouTube. Idea all now. YouTube is is stealing ideas from other people. The Stolen ideas. It's now. our idea now. But there is no real picture of the Earth. What do you mean? Every <laughs> picture that's been released that's on Google and or released from NASA is a 3D render. There's only two pictures the Earth claims to have in its vault let yeah. me show you them right now you're telling me that my iphone 3g wallpaper isn't real <laughs> that's the blue marble the blue marble as known for popular media and your iphone 3 this claims to be an actual photo of the earth from space where did it's you claiming that where did you, you get this from mike where, where is this from it, I, <laughs> this must be a joke right iphone that's... 3g Oh, do you not remember when the iPhone 3G released? It came with that as the background for the lock screen. Yeah, but this must be like a million years old. How old is no, it? No, I think 3G? it's just like a weird, obscure reference that they used. Yeah, you think uh, uh, um, you, you think that all the new pictures of the Earth have been taken since the iPhone 3G? Like that's the problem you have with this video? No, it's just it's just the the. <laughs> it's the, just an obscure just reference. Really loud, by the way, Mike. It's yeah, just an like obscure the guy, reference. The guy's talking about how there are no pictures of the Earth, and you're. And you're the thing that stands out to you is that it's an iPhone, iPhone 3G. 3G. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I mean, I see why Mike is taking offense because he literally runs basically the equivalent of a fucking iPhone 3G. Look, <laughs> to Android, but it's fine. It's right. it runs the latest yeah. operating system, and it runs it fine. That's, and it fits where the did case you dig up had. these fucking clips from, man? Is it like some, you went to the Internet Archive? To no, that's what he this. said. No, no, Peter. He was like, I looked up conspiracies on TikTok. Yeah, I went to TikTok <laughs> like, and Googled. I Googled. I TikToked conspiracy like theories. You didn't <laughs> like five you days TikTok. later, you you emerged from the cave. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. You can see this. Yeah. It's and got look, an iPhone 3G. <laughs> I got to tell you. We make fun of yeah. the flat earthers, but they do make some good points. Oh no! <laughs> no 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 no! This is this what? is what happened when I went to see the the pyramids in in Cairo, right? I I the the tour guide was joking about how people thought that aliens had come to Earth to make the pyramids, and I was like, yeah, right. Then when I was standing in front of them, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> they are on to something. <laughs> They're on to something. Um, I yeah, I can't. This doesn't. I see yeah. the argument. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Play it, this is the real one, apparently. What? It's called the pale blue dot. Who took that? I've taken <laughs> better pictures my whenever my chat. phone is in my pocket. So, chat. So he thinks this one is real, but the ones where you can actually see the earth are fake. Now, <coughs> to be fair, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> some of the pictures are composites from satellites. There are also 3D renders. But we have lots of satellites in space taking pictures. Uh, this one, I don't even know what he's talking about. But these so people are pictures, yes. kind of nuts. We have so many pictures. Oh, this is one John will like. Here we go. You ready, John? Right, Look it up. Next. NSA created SHA-256, which is the algorithmic procedure behind Bitcoin. Look it up. Oh, Look my it up. God. Oh. oh. said, I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Then I'm coming across Twitter. And here is a paper from 1996. Did you coin? And the paper was called yep. "How to Make a Mint: The Cryptography of Anonymous Electric Cash." This was written in 1996 by the by NSA. 
Mm. And do mm. you know, coincidentally, who the author of that 1996 paper about electronic cash? Ooh. Do you know who the author? Do you want to guess, John? I don't. I don't. Who could it? Who was? could it possibly it was be? Tasoki Akamoto. Doesn't that sound like Satoshi Nakamoto, who is the credited <laughs> author for Bitcoin Paper, which was in 2008? What? This guy cracked it. He cracked it. So, he figured it out. He figured I, I have it out. a genuine question. Do you think that there are like Japanese people who are also conspiracy theorists who are finding papers and going, who is this guy? This and guy, why does John Smith sound Mike, like Adam yeah. Jones? Yeah, mm. Mike Sutton. It sounds so familiar, so similar to, mm -hmm. to Michael Fox. Like, and They're the now same they can, man. They just have to go. I've, I actually have documentary evidence that you just have to accelerate oh to 88 God. miles an hour. And you could go back in time with a flux capitor. I have seen this on... What do you mean? Like, okay. But also... But also so, what if it's true? Like, who cares? <laughs> so let's talk about let's let's break it down. We eat, we eat, we eat. Okay. So <laughs> first things first. Cryptographers all over the world have been sitting in forums trying to solve the digital mint problems that before Bitcoin were like the reason that they failed. We've had like DigiCash and um, like like something like ecoin or something like all throughout like the early 90s into the early 2000s until 2008 and there were two really big problems there was the double spend problem how can i guarantee that i don't go and send someone money with this digital coin or mint and then really really fast send the same amount twice right like because there's no verification method in place that can solve that so they solved it with Bitcoin, okay? They solved it through mining and through blockchain. They've solved the double spend. Then the second big problem is the 51% attack. If I own 51% of the network's supply, available supply of uh, of the, the um, token of the mint, then I basically get voting rights to do whatever I want on the chain so I can control the chain. And I can then go format. and say and authorize double spends. So it's the the fifty one percent of the mining capacity, fifty one percent or above. So that was instantly solved because you in just humanity cannot create now because of how widespread mining is. It's just impossible to. In the beginning, it was possible, um, but now it's not because John, of how do de yeah decentralized do, it is. Do you think you're duetting this actual TikTok? <laughs> no, because he's pissing me off. Because he's like, you he's just, like, it's yourself, like, John, just wait you, until he you, finds out who fucking created Tor, you know? The, like, the problem with stuff like this is that people, you don't, they're not going to respond to logic, man. It, it, he's already made up his mind, and it doesn't matter what you say if, it, if it's true or not. Who's behind Bitcoin? And you know what? Even if it was the NSA who was behind Mike's, Bitcoin. Mike's point. Okay. Yeah, and what, yeah, you're what telling does me that, that the United is, States is, intelligence, the 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 biggest national intelligence agency, made a fucking hack-proof, like cryptographic, digital currency. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, it's fucking sick. It works amazing against inflation-based currencies. So yeah, but if okay, the NSA like, made it, then it's just a tool to control you. Wow. <clears throat> yeah i mean that's what you're missing okay okay all right is this the that last one? pissed me this, off this Mike. is the last one it's a short one. one but this dude has it figured out the government just sent out a massive signal to every phone in america i recorded it watch oh no stop stop it now i know i know what this is oh god is he on oh I love it's how he discovered thing. this massive signal that everybody who has a cell phone already got. <laughs> <laughs> Did you discover that? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, wow. I don't know what to say, some of these. How long did you spend looking for these, Mike? <laughs> how many hours did you scroll? Yeah. Oh, is your, is, I is have your a full for you list page. of ones that I didn't even bring today 
Jesus Christ. I have enough. I can do it's... this for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I think you should cut out the conspiracy you might be, stuff, Mike. You might be surprised to know it's not hard to find conspiracy videos on TikTok. <laughs> I, I mean, wow. You oh, wow. Beat. I, I was sure that there's not a dime a dozen everywhere I, all the time. Just. I, okay. I would genuinely be interested in playing Is It Satire? Uh, yeah, that could point. be fun. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I I think I, I might go into... Uh, and we can find, series. each find one or two videos, yeah. You know, I like I like the game nights, so um, yeah. I might have a for what you did, page, what, which is very different in a week's time. What videos do you want me to find for our next reaction video? Um, I think... I'll take requests. Well, Wait, we could also <clears throat> ask our trusty viewers. If you have any videos you want us to react to, <laughs> join our Discord, subscribe, like, comment. Yes. Send it to For Mike's sure. own phone number. His phone number is 4- <laughs>